Hello everybody and welcome back. Let's talk about the problem highest product on interview bid. We are given an array of n integers and the goal of this problem is to find the highest product we can get by multiplying three elements. We can pick any three elements from the array. The constraints mention that n, the number of elements in the array, can be between 3 and 5 times 10 to the power of 5. Let's take a couple of examples to understand this better. When the input given to us is 1, 2, 3, 4, that is we have 4 elements in the array, the output we get is 24. And that's because we can multiply 2 times 3 times 4, and this is the highest possible product we can get, which is 24. Now when the input is 0, comma, minus 1, comma, 10, comma, 7, comma, 5, we multiply 5, 7, and 10 together to get 350, which is the highest possible value we can get, and so we return 350 as the answer. Now, what is one thing that is immediately very clear from these examples? The first thing we realize is that we can sort the array and we can pick the top three elements. In fact, we can write this down and we'll say that, you know what, one of the observations in solving this question is that we have to take the highest three elements, multiply them together and return them at the end. Now, whenever you have these kind of hypotheses, whenever you have these ideas, it is always a good idea to test them out. You have something in mind, you have a possible solution in mind, try your best to find a test case where this might not work. All right, we'll take a couple of more test cases and see how this is playing out. First, we'll actually test this if this actually works. So let's say that the case is minus five, minus two, one, zero, zero, three, four, five. In this case, the logic works perfectly because we take the highest three elements, 3, 4, 5, multiply them together and get 60 as the answer. Right, so this makes sense. Our logic is sort of making sense for all of these three test cases. So we'll mark this as green and we'll take another test cases. As I mentioned, it is always a good idea to find test cases for which, for which this logic might not work. And in this case, is the test case minus 5, minus 2, minus 1, 0, 0, 1, 1, 5. Again, the array is sorted just for the sake of convenience, which is something we'll also do in the code part. But if we multiply 1, 1, and 5 together, which are the highest three elements, we get the answer as 5. But this is incorrect. And this is because there's something else going on. Okay. Now, we, now that we have this array, what is actually the answer? Well, the answer is minus 5, times minus two times five giving us 50. And this is the second observation that we need to make. Recall how when you multiply two negative numbers, it becomes a positive number again, which means that we have two possible cases that we have to consider. First, we have to take the highest three elements. That's for sure that something we have established is correct for some test cases. And for the remaining test cases, we have to consider the case where there are two negative values and one positive value, as shown in the second test case over here. Now, this second test case gets 50 as the output, which is indeed the correct answer. All right, uh, instead of saying two negative and one positive, since we're already sorting the array, we can say that, you know what? Consider the lowest two and the highest one. So either we take the first, uh, the highest three elements on the right hand side, or we take the lowest two on the left, and the highest one on the right. All right, now let's actually talk about the code for the solution. Here is the code. And uh, as I mentioned, the first step is to sort the array. So A equals to sorted of A, which will return me a sorted array. And this will be sorted in ascending order. So on the line seven, I have high three equals to A of minus one times minus two times minus three. Basically saying that we're gonna pick the highest three elements. And then this is the second case that I mentioned. We will pick the two lowest elements, which is a of zero and a of one. And we multiply it with the high one. So which will multiply it with the highest element on the right-hand side of the array. Now the answer can be any of those cases. And so we'll simply return the max of high three and low two high one. And that is really it for the code of the solution. We can go ahead and submit this and this gets accepted. All right, so this is it for the solution to the problem, highest product.